these will probably disappoint you in that area, to be completely honest with you. Thank you for just tuning in that you've done the first step on that appreciate that so let's go ahead and get in topic of today's video you see the title and you see the thumbnail so i did uh, i did an installation video probably maybe about um maybe a couple years ago now i did an installation i'm sure what i did the installation of i did a video of my led headlights that i installed and um, i want to give you a review because that video has been getting a lot of questions about how they work how are they how they hold it up and i want to answer all those questions on this video for you guys i know it's a very popular mod that people tend to do with these cars and um, i'll give you everything i know when i first when you when you first do a mod on a car you're really excited about it you kind of overlook some things and kind of ignore some of the flaws that you may run into but um after having it for a while i want to give you some real deal information on how well these lights work so let's go all right so i'm gonna stop showing my page i'm gonna show you the mod here so how long i had them i had them for about two years i think i did them uh ins installation back in 2020 um, the video is on my channel. If you go to my playlist of mod installations, the video is there. Uh, or you can, I think you may be confused by most viewed. It's one of my most viewed videos with these headlights. So I did the installation there. Um, I did video on that. Now, as far as the install, the install is fine. Um, the install is not bad. It's pretty much just like changing the headlight. I will, let me show you a couple things really quick on the install. Well, I'm not going to take these panels off, but one thing with the install of, of these lights. Now, when you get LED headlights, they're usually going to come with like a really big fan on the back of them. And a lot of one of the questions I got a lot was BMW, <laughs> BMW. I'm in a parking garage. Now I want to show you the lights. I think I think doing some popping crackles over there. I hear you. But um, one thing with these lights, when you get these LED lights, they're going to have like a big fan on the back, a cooling fan on them. And one of the questions I got a lot was, where do you put the cooling fan? Now, I put the cooling fan. They're actually inside the housing because when you go and take the uh, the little thing off the back of the headlights out, um, you got to put light in there and I actually put that cooling fan in there. So the biggest question is, has that been fine to do? Yes, I have no issues with putting the cooling fan inside the housing where I put my lights in there. So that's one of the things I got a lot of questions about. All right, so the biggest thing I get, the most questions I get about these headlights are what kind of issues have you ran into with the headlights? Honestly, no issues. Like, these headlights have worked fine. Um, nothing out of the ordinary has happened with these headlights while I've had them. There's no randomly they're going out and things like that. But I will say, um, I get a big question about do they flicker? And yes, they do flicker. They're very random when they flicker. I can't, I, I can't recall when they do it. They just do it. Like, they'll, like, when I have the engine running, they tend to flicker every now and again. It's not noticeable. It's not too noticeable. It's kind of like, Let's say you like a light, like when you light a candle and the candle light kind of flickers, that's kind of what happens with these. It does it a little bit when, when the engine's running and it's random. Like it randomly does it. It's not like it flickers every two seconds. It just does it every so often. Now, will it inhibit your driving any? No, not really. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's like maybe like a tenth of a second when it happens. It's like, it does like, like that. I mean, it doesn't turn off, it just flickers like a candle. You can get decoders for them that will help with the flickering. I have not done that because honestly, to be, I haven't driven my car a lot at night since I've had the light. So I really haven't noticed them them doing it that much. And it really hasn't stopped me anyway, so I haven't did it. But if that's something you're gonna be doing, driving at night a lot, then I do suggest getting a decoder. Before I put the lights in, I had the halogen lights in there. And one of the biggest questions I get is, do they improve your sight? Do they improve your visibility at night? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Some people may disagree, but I'm gonna be completely honest with that. They do not significantly improve your night vision at all. They do not. The halogen lights, I feel, will give you just as good, if not better visibility at night. The main thing with these lights, they do look better than the halogen lights. As you can see here with these cars, you have the halo rings here that are LED. 
and then you have the halo range here and then this LED light kind of matches everything so it makes the car look much better with having it. But I noticed at night it really doesn't improve light driving at all. I noticed with this like the low beam is kind of the low beams are not that good on these lights. Like I, I've driven in places, I haven't did a lot, but I've driven in places where uh, there's not a lot of light and I've been driven with the low beams on and it's really hard to see. I mean, I think the halogen maybe gives you a little bit better visibility there. Um, the high beams, I feel like you can see just as well with the high beams on these versus the halogens too. And I don't know if you can see here, I mean, I'm kind of, it's still lights man here, but you can kind of see the light pattern here. Um, I'm not sure how blinding they are. I'm gonna go way down here and see how blinding they are. You can kind of see the light pattern. Um, you may also need to adjust your headlights as well if you put these in. I didn't do it on mine, but you can kind of see here how the light pattern looks like. Right here, I feel like this one comes out. You see how, how that beam just shoots right straight out here. Let me go on the other side here. I don't think you have that same beam for whatever reason. You don't have really that same beam on the other, other side. So, I mean, I, I, I don't see the much of an improvement over visibility with them now if you're doing this mod to make it look better 100 percent, this is what you need to go with but if you want to get this because you want better vision at night these will probably disappoint you in that area to be completely honest with you. all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video i mean it's gonna be a really 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 quick video now i will leave, leave the link to these headlights in the description below so that way if you do still decide to want to go with them uh then you can go get them you also will need the decoder if you worry about the flickering um if, you, if there's any other question i didn't cover let me know um like i said the installation is pretty easy if you can change the headlight bulb you can do these uh as far as the space wise there's enough space to get your hand in i got relatively big hands so i was able to get in there and get them changed the only issue i had was getting the caps off because the caps turn different ways one locks one way the other one locks the other way and i didn't know that when i went in there but all in all like i said before i'm gonna i'm gonna reiterate this like if you're doing this to improve your visibility you're not going to get that much of an improvement if any um yes it's gonna look a hundred times better i will say that for a fact it's gonna look good <clears throat> excuse me but visibility wise not much difference guys. it does look better far as quality but as far as like what you see doesn't change so you get a good look at the headlights here so uh, let me know if there's any questions or anything that you have in mind that i did not cover in this video um like i said i'll link the previous video for the install in the description below so you can go back to that one check that video out um as always man thank y'all for tuning in we're gonna catch you on the next video we're out got it